Watch you guys, today's video is to have a look at some Windows 10 repair tools to fix any PC problems that you might be having with your computer. Now this is probably one of the best and most handiest tools to have in your arsenal when it comes to fixing uh, PC problems. It's called Tech Tool Store, it's from um, Kari Fred, and it's a must have toolkit for any PC repair tech. Even if you're a home user or hobbyist or enthusiast, it's a must have bit of kit and it can go straight onto your USB flash drive, which makes it an essential bit of kit here. So let's go through and take a look. I've got my own tools area here. There's only one here, but you would be able to add loads. You can uh, run highlighted tool, add it to your favorites, check all, which will check all the tools in there and you can download them. I'm going to uncheck that. You can also right click on here and export this file uh, to uh, UVK which allows you to put all your tools straight into UVK as well if you've got those there that you want to add in you can edit the tool and this is how you would add the tool in now this tool is already included in the kit but I just wanted to show you here so the URL is a direct download link for the actual file you can see file is percentage tool dir percentage which is the directory where the folder is backslash my tools that is the folder I created in there and the actual file which it's going to download and it will go into the actual directory which I've created here and this would be on my USB flash drive you can see it's empty right now but let me just quickly uh, click on this file so I'm going to close this out and double click on it and it would automatically download that file off the internet onto my USB flash drive. Now, if you're working on someone's PC or a customer's PC, this is essential because you can have your own tools and also use over 500 tools, which are already here with short links. Now, these are not actual tools on the USB flash drive itself. You, these are direct links to download the tools, okay? So I'll just add another one here called Never 10. Need to download the direct link from their website or any other tool that you're doing. So I'm gonna right click and copy uh, link address here and once you've got the link address you can then go back to the actual tool here and paste the URL inside here you can now see this is a direct link and this is what you want now I've got the file percentage tools dir percentage backslash my tools which will be on my USB flash drive backslash and then you need to copy the executable file here copy this and then paste that in there and that's pretty much it direct download is selected and you now see it's added here if I double click on this it will download into my folder so let me just quickly show you here you can put the tick in it and run it or just double click on it and it will download and it should end up in there like that very simple and easy to do that's how you can add in your own tools if you've got your own personal tools that you like to use uh, you can add them in there and they can be paid tools as well if you've owned them you can add them all in so let's take a look at the other tools it's got in here anti root kit and uh, boot kit tools there's a bunch of decent ones here which you can use you can tick these and run the selected and they will automatically download and automatically uh, start running which is another good thing here so let's move down the order here we've got malware removal tools and you can see all your malware removal tools are added inside here these are essential because if you're removing malware or doing anything like that, it's going to be really easy. So let me show you how it works. You can click on this and it will give you a little pop up bubble that tells you all the useful information about what this tool does, which is a really nice touch for this program because it does help you understand what it actually does. If you're a new beginner to this sort of stuff, you can right click on it, run highlighted tool, add to favorites, and you've got all the same stuff here, move up, move down. And you can see here it's got a bunch of other things you can do from here uh, with this particular tool as well now to execute it you can either double click on it or you can hit run selected i'm just going to double click on it here and you can automatically see it's downloaded that file and you can say yes i accept the terms and conditions and click start this will then start to download the tool and all the components and it will then start to download all the virus signature databases and then start to uh, run uh, that program and you'll be able to run scans on that PC that is infected Now the good thing about this is such a lightweight USB flash drive that you'd have this uh, Program running on there because you won't have all the tools initially installed on the USB flash drive All of these will be the very latest tools that you've downloaded 
To remove them, you can uninstall the selected by just clicking yes, I do want to uninstall that and it will uninstall that program for you. Now this tool is being constantly updated by Fred and you can see here we've got an update and run selected. We've also got uninstall selected. You can also update the selected and you can remove the ticks from the tool. So if you've got a bunch of them ticked here and you don't want to click run selected, you can clear all those and just reselect another bunch of tools that you want to use for this particular job that you're doing. Now you can see here we've got adware removal tools here for removing adware, which means you don't have to go running around looking for a bunch of links. They're already here. You've got system repair tools. There is bunches of tools here to help you do system repair. And uh, these tools, you can see even UVK there, uh, Ultravirus Killer Portable, which is owned and uh, updated by Fred himself. Awesome bit of kit this. If you haven't got this tool, then it's a must have bit of kit for any sort of PC repair tech, hobbyist, or even home user that just wants to, you know, uh, learn how to use tools and remove malware and also do some other bits and pieces. It's a very powerful tool, uh, UVK. And this is it right here. So let me just take a closer look here. Now I'm not going to go into this too much in this video. I just wanted to show you it, but it's another tool that you can brand it with your own logos. And both of these tools are made by the same guy. Now the tech tool store, which I've named Brightech Toolkit, you can put your own branding on there and logo. You can see for one year license is only $30 and two years is $38. And there's a bunch of other information on the screen. If you want to pause the screen and read that, by all means do so. But you won't find a cheaper tool on the internet that does all what this does. It's a very powerful tool. And uh, combined with UVK, you've basically got a, a PC repair kit on your USB flash drive. The prices for these tools has always been very fair indeed. They've never been really extortionate prices and there is some people out there that are trying to con people with some extortionate prices for silly tools these are proper pc repair tech tools you can see here you've got adware removal tools system repair tools the list goes on and on and on you've got system maintenance tools you've got all the tools you're going to need to update drivers to get system specs to benchmark to uninstall to clean malware to do just about whatever you want check temperatures you know pretty much do just about anything you want to do and you can add more tools to it which is the nice part and as you can see there's loads and loads of tools on here and software you can download to do certain things that you need to do on a daily basis maybe at work or maybe just you want something to keep on you for when you're going around uh, fixing pcs for your friends and family or maybe you're more of a serious player where you're a pc repair tech You've got shortcuts to useful things like say event viewer and all those sort of things there's loads of shortcuts on here you've got god mode on here which is another little shortcut you can use there's loads of other good stuff on here and these are all useful links on windows which help you get to things faster and fix things so very very useful again you can click on these these are all shortcut links to windows based machines and of course when you go to another machine you would just click on these you've got backup and recovery also system monitoring tools, very, very useful area as well. So as you can see, pretty much everything you need under one hood. I like it a lot, use it a lot, and it's a useful program uh, for PC repair techs. If you've got a PC repair shop, this will save you heaps and heaps of time. It really will, rather than going around, downloading, updating all your tools all the time. You can see here, Windows troubleshooting shortcuts here. Click on these and it will start running the troubleshooter from this location. You've got also here a little menu up the top here, which lets you uh, do a bunch of stuff inside here. Uh, sort all to alphabetical order. You can click on this and it will put everything to alphabetical order in the tool. You can back up all your uh, tools that you've created on here by exporting them and it will automatically uh, save these to the area where you want it to be saved and they'd be a nice uh, tool pack called uh, my tools here I've got it in my tools you can see here and it zipped all of these up inside here called tools which I've just named it and there you go all my tools are saved in here so if you want to keep your license key and all that sort of stuff safe all in one place you can get all your tools you want in there you can do that it's very simple and easy to do you've got your settings inside here which you can do you can restore it from here as well if you want to restore all your tools you can restore them from this location as well. 
and it does more than just uh, 7-zip it does normal zip files and a bunch of other ones here you can just uh, locate the file and click restore now and it will restore those for you you've also got some other things on here as well inside the settings here let me just show you a couple of more of these shortcuts here registry editor you can see here just opens it straight up no more typing out reg edit and all that sort of stuff resource monitor here opens up resource monitor one click great when you're trying to do stuff very quickly uh, this is a very useful way when you want to just get things done you can clear the ticks out of there you can run sfc scan now from here straight to services here as you can see and you've got a bunch of other stuff here the list endless it really is i can sit all day here all day showing you some of this stuff but the logo and the toolkit and all that stuff you can change all this you can search for tools here so if you can't find something inside here and you know it's there you can just put in a term up the top of what the tool is and it will find it say for instance patch my pc and just put the word patch or my pc if you want to put the full thing in and it will find it straight away and highlight it for you so let's just try one more up here i shall type in here say far bar let's try that one i'm going to type in here far bar this is another tool that i like to use and again it's just highlighted it for me i can then put the tick in here or double click on it and down it will come very simple no going over to someone's website and downloading the tool and all that stuff it's all in one place here very simple so let's just quickly go into uh, the troubleshooting area here i just want to go down to where it says settings here one more time i just want to show you some of the other settings inside here because i miss these and you can see here under options you've got a bunch of other things you can do like show tool tips and stuff like that prevent the pc from going to sleep or turning off the screen and a bunch of other things inside here as well you can see them on the screen there and also updates as well you can check updates here application updates and database updates for the application startup and you can see there this is your license area for your license you can see this is my license here and you can see there's a, a bunch of other uh, information down the bottom if you want to add in your license you can do it via this method here also got reports here this is if you want to get a full report of what you've done on the pc this is going to be great if you want to give it say to a customer or a friend or someone like that you want to show them the work you've done on their pc all the scans that you carried out and stuff like that it will list them all in a nice report very simple and easy to do and it'll be in a html format which is quite nice and you can just quickly show them or give it to them or email it to them and just say this is the sort of work i've done on it you've got your branding area here this is to brand the whole uh, program to your own name or company whatever you've got here you can see you can change the name at the bottom here this is not default i've changed this myself and you've also got backup which we've already covered and restore now if you're thinking about getting this tool i'll leave the link in the video description for you so you can uh, get yourself a pretty decent tool even consider having a look at uvk as well and you have the both of them together they're pretty awesome tools and if you haven't heard of them before then it's a pretty must tool to have if you are a techie sort of guy you know other than that i'm going to wrap this one up my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.